We are going to work with a text file with extension CSV. Extension CSV means comma separated values. And if you open up a file with extension CSV, you will notice that there are commas separating the fields. The enter key will separate each row, each record. You cannot have comma as a thousand separator because the comma will be a separator for fields. You cannot also have comma as a punctuation sign because again, the comma means the separator for the fields. Here is an example how a file looks like. And over here, you see the file imported into Excel. We have in chapter 10, an example file. The name is client. Well, let me go ahead and open it. I'm going to use right click open with notepad. So I can see the comma separators. So this would be the heading row and this would be the first record. So let's see how it looks in Excel. I'm going to create a new Excel file and I'm going to name it commodities and E for Excel, 10 for chapter 10 and H for hands on and one for number one. I pushed enter to open the file. Let me just zoom in a bit. And what we'd like now to get the information from the CSV file, we can go to the data tab. And in the data tab, you have over here a group that is called get and transform data. So we can get the data from a file from a text or CSV file. Let's go to our folder and that's the file. Now let's push import and let's see what happens. This is how the data will look like. If you need to change it, you go to transform data and I can simply push load to load it now. You can see here the connection. If we go now and change something in the CSV file, it should be reflected. He said that Eric, let's type, for example, John. And going back here, I'm going to edit this file in Notepad. And instead of Eric, for example, Let's type John, close and save. Let's go to Excel. That's our connection and we can refresh it. So let's look at B2. Eric becomes John. All right. So if I want to go back, I can change it back. Next, we are going to import data from an access database. We have this transaction, ACCDB, that's the extension for an access database. When you open it, and if you have access on your computer, you have to push enable content. And you have this table. This would be the name of the fields at the top. And though this would be the records. And you can get this data into the spreadsheet. So let's close it now. And let's go back to Excel. Let's import the data now from the Access Database. We go to Get Data from Database from Microsoft Access Database. We select it and import. And you can actually see here the table. So we can click it. And let's push load. It will simply go to a new worksheet, which we can name. We would like now to change the date format over here so it doesn't show the timestamp. Also, we would like to put currency for purchase and selling price. But instead of doing these steps in Excel, we would like to do this in the query. Because remember, we have a connection to the access database. So if the access database changes, then the data will change in Excel. So let's go ahead and actually edit this. And you're going to enter what's called the Power Query Editor. In the Power Query Editor, you can do many, many things. So let's go ahead now and select the date. And at the top over here, under the Home tab, you have the date type. And we can choose, instead of date time, let's choose simply date. And you see how the timestamp is gone. And you can see the applied steps on the right, in the right panel over here. Let's do for the purchase price, let's make this one currency and do the same for the selling price. Okay, and then we simply close and keep the changes. So we are back 
in Excel now. We would like to import data now from a text file. The text file broker info over here, let's take a look. If you open it in Notepad, you're going to notice some spaces, but you don't actually know exactly what those spaces are. So let's go ahead and open with Word. And when you open in Word, you can click from the Home tab and show hide paragraph marks. When you do that, you're going to notice this right arrow. The right arrow stands for tabs. So if I type something here, and if I push a tab, you can see it. Okay? So let me close and not save. And then let's go to Excel and let's import the data file, which is a text file. So we go to data from file from text. We select the text file and import. Now, when you do that, you're going to see here the limiter. And we know it's not comma. So let's select tab. And you can now see the columns right there. But we are not very happy with the name. We would like to split it and work also on the address. So let's actually click on transform data. Let's separate the name into first name and last name. We can simply use split column. And we can use delimiter. As you can see, we have a space. So after Julius, we have a space. So let's click on delimiter. And we want to have leftmost delimiter. So that would put the first before space if you put in a column and after the space all the rest would go into the second column let's rename the column so double click and we can rename this one first and this one last let's apply the same trick to the city and state the delimiter is comma this time so we go back to split column delimiter and that's the comma for each occurrence of the delimiter well, let's push ok and we got two columns. In this column, we have a beginning space, so we can trim it. We can go to transform and then trim, and that would remove the leading space. And let's split again by the limiter, and this time we have a space. And let's push OK. And now we can just name them. So this would be the city. This would be the state and the zip code. We can now close and we can keep all the changes. And let's name this one brokers. Let's go back to transactions over here and we can work on the transaction query, right click properties, and we can check refresh data when opening the file. So when you open the file, it should see if the data has been changed. And it will update it. We can refresh all the queries and connections at the same time by going to the data tab and in the queries and connections group you have refresh all. Everything you've done in the query, splitting those columns and changing the type and everything, everything will be done automatically for you and it will contain the updated information also.